Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. So we've got another setting controls video to do. It's basically how to set the controls, bind the controls of a certain plane to the HOTAS. They're not very sexy videos, but people seem to be finding them really useful. So I'm going to keep doing them. Today is the F-86 Sabre. Um, okay, it's a high fidelity plane and there's quite a few controls to set. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you how to set the controls to the HOTAS or the joystick of which there is two parts on the right side the control stick on the left side the kind of thrust stick. Now I use a Cytec X56 Rhino you will almost certainly have a different stick but generally they're, they're roughly the same have buttons in roughly the same places and I'll tell you where uh, which button I'm assigning to which uh, function on the aircraft and then if you wish you can set them the same uh, so I'm just showing you how I set them and you can do them the same as me if you want um, it'll make if you're going to watch my tutorial videos afterwards then it'll make them easier because you'll have the same things set up in the same place okay off we go so we go into options up here controls this box here we're going to select F86 F sim and the first thing I'll always start on is this box here and we go to axis commands this X the axis of uh, of the control stick and the thrust stick okay so you can see I've already got them set up so we're just going to basically essentially tape over them again just to show you how to do it zoom view this allows you to zoom in and out uh, essentially allows you to kind of focus your eyes on a distant target extremely useful something you will need to be able to fly properly basically so um, we so this is the function here on this column this is the category that's in here this is any keyboard bind that you've got set to that function this is the left side of the hotest the thrust stick that you've got set to that function and this is the right side of the thrust uh, the uh, the hotest the control stick okay so i've got a turning knob on the top of my left stick here and that's what i'm going to use for it so i'll double click there i'll turn it completely to the right and completely to the left and you can see it's picked up as joy underscore z okay and that's that set next we're going to do the thrust of the engine so double click here and then the thrust lever i'm going to push fully forward and fully backwards and it's picked it up as joystick x okay that's all fine next we're going to do the roll of the plane uh sorry the rudder of the plane double click on that you may have um some foot pedals that you did set in which case you press the foot pedals left and right i can't use the foot pedals because my legs don't work very well so i have a twist grip on my control stick i'm going to twist it left and then right let's pick it up as joy rz okay and then you can see i twist it left and right and it's picking it up there uh, because it's a control stick uh, axis we're going to want to add some extra information so we click on that once we've set it axis tune so the first thing you can see is that it's not quite in the center i'm just kind of centralizing there it's offset to the right slightly because it's older older worn out basically now we want that uh, to be in what we call the dead zone uh, so we're going to add dead zone there so that that dot there is in the dead zone so it means when the control stick is resting i'm not touching it uh, it's not giving any input to the aircraft otherwise it will always slightly slew the aircraft to the left or right okay and then we want curvature curvature is something you want to add uh, basically it, it allows more control finer detail at small amount of movements like that and less uh, detail at higher movement like that it's just something we recommend for pretty much all control sticks and i've got a basic uh, setting of 25 i use for everything just to keep it pretty simple okay okay there next is roll double click move the control stick to the left fully then the right fully it's picked it up as joy x okay axis tune it's already uh, in right in the center so we don't need dead zone we will need curvature though so let's add 25 curvature okay there we go okay and the aircraft pitch double click on that stick completely forward stick completely backwards it's picked it up okay check it works it does and axis tune don't really need any dead zone it's not far enough out and curvature knock it up to 25 pow okay that is the axis done we're going to move on now uh, so we've done the axis now we're going to do the essentially the push buttons so i'm going to go up here and i'm going to go to all uh, sorry search okay we're going to type the first thing in is the cage or the cage and uncage so we type it in here as caging i believe it is 
uh, it's this one here we're interested in A4 site electrical caging button on throttle okay um, and we're going to put it on the throttle side of the hotel here and so we're going to double click on that and we want it as button 2 so on my stick is at the very top of the stick and it's the thing I always use in all of my aircraft for uh, cage on cage so caging it there like so okay um, and it's prudent when you're setting up your aircraft you keep them as uniform the same so if we've got a cage button on one plane make it the cage button in all of the other aircraft as well otherwise things will get very confusing okay so that's caging next is snap view it's something that I use you may not want it but I always want it helps me uh, in dogfights custom snap view 5 is something you can hold your finger on and it basically zooms into the the HUD or the aiming area if you like I have it on the left HOTAS as button 5 double click on that I'm clicking button 5 here on the front of the HOTAS okay and that's that you may or may not want that next is the speed brake delete that speed brake uh, right so we've got the speed brake we've got an in and an out position uh, there are other ones but that's all I'm interested in okay uh, I've got this two stage switch here that I use for speed brake in all aircraft so I'm gonna go in as that and then down on the button for out okay that's the speed brake we'll need that okay next we need the landing gear let's type in gear hmm shopping gear whoopsie try that again landing gear loads of buttons again way too complicated keep it super simple landing gear down landing gear up that's all I want and I've got a two stage button I use for all of my aircraft so let's go landing gear down okay landing gear up okay okay next auto start a lot of people don't want auto start but it is bloody useful if you've got a lot on your plate and you're filming people and stuff like that to have an auto start feature so whoopsie come on auto start auto start and auto stop that starts the engine and stops the engine procedure basically and I've got an iron switch on the top right of my uh, left hotas which I use so if I want to start it bosh if I want to stop it bosh okay next um, that so that's all of the left hoe has done the thrust lever now we're moving on to the right the control stick so we're going to do first of all the trigger the main trigger for the guns type in trigger that's first and second detent my x56 doesn't have a first and second detent it only has a second detent so that's what we're going to set over here to the right side of the hotas and button one the trigger and that's that done next is the uh, bomb release uh, so we're going to go here type release uh, lots of them there and weapon release is what I meant to say and there it is it's the second trigger it's set up as basically double click on that trigger two bosh done okay the next we want is target select target reject so uh, this is for the radar sorry it's just something you'll need radar target and it's got it there something you'll need when um, uh, using the radar to, to find airplanes for the radar guided guns so that's it there I'm going to want to double click there and I'm going to select button number two which is at the very top of my control stick and I use it for various target selection in various aircraft okay next is the trim something you'll need in all aircraft type in trim oh my goodness space okay and trim up down left and right is what we want I've got a four-way hat switch on the top right of the right hotess so let's start going so in the down select the down bit of that button there get the left there get the right there get the up Okay, next the ranging uh, the ranging toggle something you need just for this aircraft ranging control for the radar uh, for the site sorry uh, something you'll need to do on the fly so you'll need it on your HOTAS uh, so I've got a two stage button which is actually a four stage button on the bottom right of my right HOTAS and I'm gonna say to uh, increase I'm gonna press up on that hat switch decrease down on that hat switch and you when you follow the other tutorials are done you'll see why I've needed that okay 
Next is the wheel brake. It's just a click on or off affair. Uh, it's just uh, sorry, an on affair on there. And it's a button I have all of the wheel brakes from all of my aircraft at the bottom of my right hotas. There we go. And the final one, we want the nose control steering. So this allows you to turn on nose wheel steering. Uh, nose wheel steering there, as you see. There, something you hold, keep hold down, I think. Um, so another button I've got at the bottom of my stick, right stick that I use for all of my nose wheel steering. There, okay and okay and that's the f86 setup now there are other controls as you saw there's hundreds of controls you may wish to add some but that's the core of all the stuff that you'll need to go in and fight uh, okay so i hope that helps and i'll see you later